Hello everyone and thanks a lot for joining me today. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I'm glad you joined us for today and what we're doing. Um, it's a little bit different than normal, but it's something that I've been working on so I thought I'd just take you along with me and show you what I'm doing. I'm down here in my basement as you can see. Um, not somewhere that we come very often, but so down here in this room, um, now my Etsy shop is like right behind the camera here. Um, that is for another day. I have some things planned for that to show you and I'm not quite done with that, but I'll show that to you sometime. Um, but today we're working on this part of the room and it's kind of where we would like to do um, just kind of a workout area, I guess you could say. We have a few things that we would like to set up here and it's a nice, um, nice size area here. Um, over here on this wall I just have a cube storage with some things in and I was going to put some of the smaller things in the uh, little cube storage there just to give us a little extra room um, and there's nothing really on the walls so um, maybe eventually we can put something up on the walls but for today we are going to be working on the floors now when we had moved in it was carpet in here um, but we tore the carpet out and then we painted the concrete floors. This is how they look. And I really like the floors. They're um, shiny and they're fresh. Um, a lot prettier than just plain concrete. But for this to be a nice, like a workout area um, to where we can be on the floor and doing our thing, um, we'd wanted to put down like the foam, um, foam padding stuff. I don't what you're supposed to call it but anyways so I got that the other day and there it is um, two big boxes and these are in the 24 by 24 inch so they're the bigger bigger squares so I'm really excited to see how this looks down here um, so let's open these boxes and see what this looks like and then I have my cleaning stuff down here so we are going to get busy with um, cleaning the floors and getting everything ready to put this stuff down. So let's get um, opening this. I wanted to show you what that looks like first and then we'll go from there. Alright, so this is what I got. like in a wood grain look and I thought this would be really pretty down here um, it would makes it look a little bit more like a floor and not just like a mat um, there you can see the thickness uh, there's like six pieces in here and it does come with the end caps um, to make the ends up. so yes yeah, so I'm happy with it um, but before we get this started we're gonna work on the floors and I will link this, um, I know you can get this from Amazon, I believe. I'll try to see if I can find it and link it in the description box. Um, I think it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm upstairs again. I got the floor all mopped and ready to go, but I wanted to dry really well um, and completely before I start laying the tiles down. So I think what we're going to do, we are going to um, wait until after lunch um, to put that down. And I think while we wait, me and the little ones, we're going to go get us some lunch. 
Um, we've kind of been stuck in the house all week and so I think they're ready to get out and so am I. And then we'll be back and hopefully the floor will be ready to um, get started. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it looks once it's down and um, I can't wait to get started on that. Hey y'all, so I just thought I'd pop in here um, while I go get lunch. No, actually, um, this is later on in the evening and the kids are in bed. I'm just by myself and I just wanted to do a little chat. Um, quite honestly, this is something that's not really easy for me to do, but I wanted to do this for y'all. Um, just sit down and just chat a little bit um, in kind of in the middle here of the video and just um, tell you what's going on. So I'm actually sitting on my newly finished floor and I really like it. I can't wait for you to see the finished product um, at the end of this video. Um, and it's actually really comfortable to sit on. I'm sitting on the floor and it's nice and soft and yeah, I like it. I think it will um, spend a lot of time down here and use this floor very well. But anyways, um, just what I wanted to talk to you about, um, you probably don't know this, but this is the last day in my 20s and just been thinking about it a lot the last while, the last couple months and I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of freaking me out and um, yeah. And at the same time, you know, I'm like, um, what's the big deal, you know, um, it shouldn't be that hard to, you know, it's just entering another phase in my life. And um, a long time ago, I decided that every stage that I come into in my life, I'm going to put my heart into it, enjoy it to the fullest, and, um, you know, and then that stage leaves, and then we enter into a new phase in life and this is kind of one of those things where we're entering a new phase in life I guess um, so yeah I'm just um, just thinking about things and um, and I know some of you out there are thinking well you know wait till you turn 40 or wait till you turn 50 you know and so actually I want I was thinking maybe some of you um, ladies out there could give some of us um, younger ones, you know, younger women or 20s and 30s, maybe you have some good advice for us, some good life advice that you could share with us um, in the comments or um, just kind of share your feelings. Um, how can we put each stage in life, how can we make the most out of each stage in our life that we're in? And I know now, you know, my children are small and we're busy and you know we need to take the time to enjoy our children while they're small I know that um, but yeah so my goal is just to um, just enjoy the journey and I know I have so many blessings to count and sometimes it's just good to just stop and take a moment and just count the blessings that we have because we have so many um, yeah, and I know life takes us on different journeys, um, you know, we face our different things in life, but I know that God will be there for us, and that He will never leave us, and we can always trust in Him. So I'm just thankful for that tonight, and I'm thankful for what I do have, my blessings, and I just want to keep looking forward, and keep living life, um, with all my heart and to put it all out there and to just enjoy life, enjoy enjoy each stage that I'm in, um, whether I'm 20 or 30 or 40 um, or, or older. And I know we're getting, we're all getting older, it's, it's a fact of life, but, um, you know, it doesn't really matter how old we are, you know, we can still enjoy life and we can, um, make a difference to those around us and so I just wanted to share that with you I don't know um, yeah just for what it's worth so yeah let's just enjoy life and keep putting ourselves out there 
and I think we'll be blessed. So anyway, thanks for listening to me, and now we'll get on with the rest of the video. All right, and so now we're back, I'm back down here in the basement, and I am looking forward to getting started here. So, um, I think I'm just gonna start back here in this corner, and I don't know, we'll see how it goes once, but, um, yeah. And I don't know, depending how it looks, uh, we might need to add some trim or something to finish off the edges. I don't know, I'll see how it looks once, but I don't really wanna spend a lot of money down here because we are going to remodel down here and make it into bedrooms and uh, bathroom and stuff. So uh, it's kind of just seems like wasted money to me to put trim down and then tear it back up, you know, once we're ready to remodel, but uh, we'll see. And also, I don't know really when we'll get to remodeling. So, you know, if it goes a while yet, it might just be better to finish it off and make it look um, finished, you know, for now. So we'll see once, but I'm just gonna put down the floor today and hopefully everything goes good. And um, then we can start moving our uh, workout stuff, the stuff that we have anyway, move it back in here. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I wasn't exactly sure how easy this would go down. I wasn't quite sure how um, everything would work out, but it's very self-explanatory. They just lock into place. It's very easy to get it started. And then once I got a couple pieces together, I decided I'm just gonna lay down the whole floor and then worry about the edge pieces once I had everything done. Um, I just thought that might be a little bit easier to get everything fitted together. And so that's how I did that. Then basically just fitting the pieces together. Um, it didn't take that long really actually. It went by pretty fast. Of course these pieces are um, fairly large so that helped and as you can see it just easily fits together and looks pretty seamless once it's together. All right, so I got one box done, and this is how much one box did. I don't know if you can really tell, but it actually did a fair amount. Um, probably halfway at least, I don't know. There was two pieces in this box. Oops, I see the grain is going wrong. Oh well, I'll change that really quick then. But uh, there was a couple here, um, like that one had like a stain or something down the on the tabs. Um, sorry, I didn't really want that one in the middle of the room, but that one will work here for um, some of these edges where we need to cut it off anyways. And then there's another one here that was missing a tab somewhere. Yeah, there, I think it broke off when I was 
pulling off the edging there. But um, so far it looks good. I like how it looks. And so once I get it all done, I think then I'm going to go around and put all the edging on. Because um, I might need to cut it. I'm not sure how it will all fit in. So I'll do that once I'm all done. And then of course I'll need to cut these pieces around the edges. And it actually fit pretty well um, on this side. And then over there is up against the wall. So that worked out pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna open the other box and then we'll get started with that one. And Jameson came down and he wanted to help me. So this was actually something he could easily help with, um, putting these pieces together and it was so much fun for him. And he had a lot of fun getting them um, put together and making sure that the wood grain was going the right way. It was a really big help to have him um, help me put the flooring together. And then to fit around this pole, I just measured uh, around the pole and then marked it. And then once I made my marks, I tried first with a utility knife to cut it, but actually a scissors works better than a knife um, and it cuts fairly easy. So I just used a scissors and that worked fine. And then of course we had the other side of the pole just a little bit to cut off. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that off and make it fit in right. And once we went over as far as we wanted to we stopped and then Jameson he wanted to put all the edge pieces on so he put all those pieces around the edges and then I was cutting these edge pieces here that needed to be cut Um, as I'm measuring this one, I'm sure you see this already, but I'm totally marking this one the wrong way, and yeah, um, yeah, you have to watch the grain because here I go cutting into that big sheet, and suddenly I'm realizing it is going the wrong way, and so I just messed up this piece, but anyways, I had um, extra pieces, so it was fine then. So I did a little section here where I turned every other piece like the opposite way or whatever. And so this was, so this would actually be another way that you could lay this down. And I thought about doing it this way, um, but then I decided not to after all. But this would actually be really pretty as well and just give it a little bit more character I think. Alright, so I'm back. We're all done with the floor. Um, sorry, my battery died uh, while I was filming, so I had to charge the battery, but um, I just went ahead and finished up these pieces over here that I've been working on, getting that all um, finished out there. And I think it's all done. Um, so I'm really loving it. It's nice and soft, and I think it'll be comfortable um, to yeah do stuff stuff down here. And I did have a couple extra pieces that I 
um, I'm gonna use over in my Etsy shop for like standing on. Um, if I'm standing for a long time, yeah, I don't feel good over there. So that was great. And I do have some other pieces that um, I messed up when cutting and stuff. So I'll try to use those maybe for something too. And, but yeah, now I just need to get everything moved back over here. And hopefully the, um, won't be too hard to move stuff into here. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's gonna work yet, but. So we're gonna get stuff moved over and get it all set up. This piece was pretty much the only one that I had issues with. Um, it just wanted to wrinkle up the floor with me rolling it across the floor, but once I kind of um, walked it over the, the big wrinkle that it made, then it went smoothly um, once I had it over that first little wrinkle and then I could just pull it across the floor and it went fine. And the rest of the pieces I just carried in. Um, but actually the six cube organizer thing um, that I had on the other side of the room, that one actually slid pretty well on the floor. So that worked out good. Alright, so I think I'm done for now. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, I just love it um, so much better than it was. And there's really not that much back here in here, but um, we were thinking of getting a few more pieces anyway, and this uh, frees up some space. So yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out. And um, so here's what it looks like. So I'm still unsure about what I should do about around the edges. I don't really like how it looks. The black stuff down there is, um, that's like a plastic. It's for uh, water, uh, it's to help keep water out of the basement. But I think it just looks kind of ugly. So I don't know, should I just um, get some trim or not? I don't know what we'll decide yet. I know you can probably get some, like I was thinking, maybe just some one by fours, one by sixes would be an easy fix. And I think you can get those pretty inexpensively at like Lowe's or Home Depot. So we'll see. I don't know if we'll do that or not. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll just focus on the floor because I really like how that turned out. Um, it just looks clean and fresh and um, it'll be nice to be able to lay on the floor, do stuff on, work out on the floor, and yeah, I know it's the floor is clean. Concrete, yeah, it was clean before. You know, I keep it mop and stuff, but I don't know something about a concrete floor just doesn't feel as clean as a a floor. Um, yeah. So thanks again so much for watching. Um, a little bit of a different video, but I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And so I'm very happy with it. Hopefully this floor will hold up good. And again, I'll be sure to link one in the description box. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find this exact one on Amazon, but I'll link some uh, similar. They have some very pretty wood patterns on Amazon that I had seen uh, before I found this one. So I'll link some of those below and let you check them out. Um, but so far, very happy with how this turned out. So thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.